office hours. Uh, this is Jim Hoffman and your Monday Minutes. Uh, today we're going to kind of continue on with the uh, neurological emergencies and sort of cover some of the other issues to consider with your patients. And we talk about things like um, syncope and stuff like that, but I just want to ask you first, why do you think this is important? I always say this is important not just for your exams where it covers key elements you'll see on exams, but it's also great for things like your patient care. Okay, thinking about what's going on with your patient and how to treat them and transport them. In addition, this is important, guys, for stuff like your documentation and interaction with other healthcare professionals. So like I said, syncope and weakness is a big thing with CNS, right? That partial loss of consciousness or even full loss of consciousness. Get that EKG, make sure it's not cardiac related. Headaches, think of things like tumors, bleeding, um, hypertension, meningitis is another one, or even poisoning. And think about other issues that go on with the brain, right? Think about how brain tissue has no nerves to actually feel pain. So when patients actually are feeling pain, okay, because something going on in their head, right, it's really coming from other areas, right? It's stretching or irritating other structures that are around the brain, okay? Things like vascular issues, right, where it's involving the cerebrovascular uh, circulation, okay, Um when you have uh, uh, constriction or dilation, all right, of the cerebral vessels, okay, you're going to get pain, right? So that's something to think about. And listen, when you get a patient that's got a rapid onset of severe headache, that could be an ICP, inter intracranial bleeding going on, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, some things for non-vascular, we talk about infection, tumors, muscle spasms, all right? Other things to think about when we talk about you know the brain. So what are some assessment findings you're gonna you're gonna think about when you see these patients, right? Kind of broad when you think about it, right? But in addition to pain that the patient might have, right? The patient might be complaining of blurred vision. They might have nausea and vomiting. Those are big ones, okay? Vertigo, stiff neck for that meningitis we talked about. Maybe even bradycardia or hemoplegia where they have weakness to one, one side of the body or the other or even hypertension. Look out, guys, for e unequal pupils or even pinpoint pupils, right? Windows to the mind, right? Or photophobia, that sensitivity to light, okay? So what are the, some of the management stuff? This is pretty basic, guys. Your ABCs, dim the lights, watch out for that vomiting that we mentioned, right? Get that 12 lead in case there's something going on with the syncope and why made them pass out and give them oxygen as per your guidelines. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these Monday Minutes and that you can get something out of them. Um, if you have, uh, that's great. I'd love to know if you have some minutes of your own. Give me a, a contact me with that. I'd love to be able to go ahead and produce a Monday Minute based on something that you enjoy. Uh, just send me an email. It's contact at emsofficehours.com. All right, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, be sure to get in touch with me, guys. I'm on Facebook, all right, emsseo.com forward slash Facebook. I'm on Twitter at emssafe and Instagram and YouTube as well, emssafe. All right, guys, that's it for me. I